Hi, this is Dr. Spizak with Spring Hill Equine, and today we're gonna to talk about one of the most important parts of goat ownership, FAMACHA scoring. FAMACHA scoring is done to look for the evidence of parasite burden that our goats and sheep have. Now, goats and sheep are incredibly susceptible to intestinal parasites, the worst of which is called Hamonchus contortus, otherwise known as the barber pole worm. This worm lives in one of the chambers of their stomach and it actually sucks their blood. Goats and sheep are very susceptible to this and can actually die from anemia if we don't manage those parasites. Unfortunately, these little worms are tricky buggers and they have developed a lot of resistance to the deworming medications we traditionally use to try to kill them. Because of that, it is not appropriate to give blanket deworming to all the goats on a property or to deworm on a regular schedule. Instead, it's important to create a targeted deworming approach for each individual animal with your veterinarian. So the word for matcha is actually a combination of the doctor who invented this and the word chart. His name was Fafa Milan Chart, so fa matcha. Um, now the FAMACHA scoring is traditionally used using an objective card which has five colors that corresponds to five numbers. Um, if you want your own FAMACHA card, that is the most objective way of measuring it. You can obtain that by being trained by someone who is certified in FAMACHA scoring or there is an online certification through the University of Rhode Island. What's most important though, at least in pet sheep and goats, is that you are looking subjectively at the level of paleness on their eyelids, which we'll talk about in a second, and knowing what that level is for your individual animal. Now we grade it on a score of one to five. One is a darker red to pink color, and five is this off white to all the way as white as the background of this card. Now the individual deworming protocol that you'll set with your veterinarian is done using a FAMACHA score as well as a variety of factors and will be different for each animal and each farm. In general, um, the ones and twos, meaning the darker red and pinks, they don't need deworming. It's better to leave them without deworming. An animal that is a five, meaning an off-white to a very pale white, that needs veterinary attention as soon as possible. The threes and fours, generally are going to need a fecal exam and a conversation with the veterinarian for next steps. Most sheep and goats can be handled by a hand behind their uh, ears and at their chin. And then to do a FAMACHA score, we're gonna have a hand on top of their nose and on their cheek. So the steps of FAMACHA are cover, push, pull, pop. We're gonna use our top hand and top thumb to cover the upper eyelid over the eye push the eye back into the head, you won't hurt them here. Use our bottom thumb to pull down on the lower eyelid and that will cause a nice bed of mucous membranes to pop into view. You're gonna compare the color of those mucous membranes to the card and that will give you a number. The FAMACHA score should be done at least once a month, but honestly, the more often you can do it, the better. What's very important is that you record the score for that individual animal and you can track its progress over time. Now for sheep, we certainly handle them a little bit less than goats do. So my recommendation is always to do a FAMACHA score anytime you're working with that animal, whether that be for shearing or hoof trimming or something else. Many owners of milking goats um, do a FAMACHA score every time they're on the milking stanchion, which I think is a great way to do it. The most important thing is that you are aware of your goat's FAMACHA score and you're aware if it changes over time. You wanna be in communication with your goat or sheep veterinarian and use, utilize them to make a plan. This video is meant to be a how-to for FAMACHA scores as well as some general recommendations, but what's most important for your animal is that you have a great relationship with your veterinarian. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for a lot more videos.